County is looking to form its own judicial circuit. That means it would have its own district attorney. Supporters say it's the best option for taxpayers. The incoming district attorney does not appear to support the proposal. Here's News Channel 6's Chloe Salsameda. This resolution is heading to the Georgia State Legislature. Columbia County is asking the state to break away from Burke and Richmond counties to form its own judicial circuit. The county says not only will it make the community safer, it'll save the county up to $1 million. In a few short months, the Augusta Judicial Circuit could be broken up. Columbia County is looking to form its own circuit and separate itself from Richmond and Burke counties. That means it would have its own district attorney and judges. In 2020, the stars just aligned and it was it, the right thing to do for the taxpayers. The process began two years ago when the state analyzed if Columbia County could form its own circuit. The proposal was ultimately shot down because Columbia County had too many judges at the time. But when a judge retired this year, Columbia County's Board of Commissioners looked into the idea again and learned it could save up to $1 million a year if it formed its own circuits. We do the best we can to run the county as a business, and just no business would just, uh, just punt on saving a million dollars. The proposal comes just weeks after Jared Williams defeated Natalie Payne to become Augusta's next district attorney. WJBF reached out to both Williams and Payne for comment. Payne did not respond. But in a statement to WJBF, Williams says in part, quote, Less than a month after voters elected the first African-American district attorney, Columbia County leadership is now asking to leave. I will not allow divisive politics or attempts to tear at the unifying fabric of our community deter me from executing my duties faithfully. But when asked if the election played any part in this decision, Commission Chairman Doug Duncan said the county would have moved forward with the proposal even if Natalie Payne was reelected. The, the ideas are mutually exclusive. If you go back to, uh, again, we got down to three judges, we bought the building, and we could save the money. So, you know, it's, it's all about facts and the facts of saving a million bucks. Now, in order for all this to happen, the resolution needs to be approved by the state legislature and the governor. It could be completed by July. In Columbia County, Chloe Salsameda, WJBF, News Channel 6.